on this My Generation, a minimalist approach to mountain biking. It used to be, well, what happened to your other wheel? That was years ago. Now, the typical remark is, how do I get one of those? How do I get into that? And now the story of a man who is never too tired to search for balance in his life. He's a man with two identities. When he's tuning pianos, call him Terry Peterson. But when he's doing this, call him the Unigeezer. Uni for unicycle, geezer for geezer. And, uh, you know, some people take issue with that. They say 55, 56, that's not a geezer. But you know what? Now I'll be able to grow into that one. Terry Peterson, the Unigeezer, he and a handful of other extreme riders are changing the image of this one-wheeled sport. Hi, dear. The typical remark is, that's awesome, or how do I get one of those, how do I get into that? He has six different unicycles. This one is for long distance. He covered 100 miles once in 11 hours. Yeah, there we go. We got her going now, baby. He practices in his backyard in Torrance, California. The stairs are great training for this. And a landing like this prepares him for this. What we're gonna do is hop over you. No problem, right? <laughs> Not at all. I'm not 56, I'm 18 with 38 years experience. Terry got on a unicycle when he was eight, but he didn't really get serious about the sport until he turned 50. What basically motivated me was being a piano tuner. You know, you sit around a lot. And uh, so I was thinking, what could I do to get myself in shape? And how about unicycle? Today, he's more than just a cyclist. He's a passionate evangelist for the sport. Now that you saw me riding this one, are you thinking that maybe you could learn? Yeah. Good for you, man. All right. The most difficult feat he ever attempted was a grueling climb up Fargo Street. With a 33% grade, it's the steepest street in Los Angeles. If he could make it to the top, it would be a record breaker. With a unicycle, unlike a bike, there's no gears to help you climb up steep hills. You can't coast, so you're pedaling every inch of the way. It was four exhausting minutes of painful pedaling. Halfway through, he didn't think he'd make it. Yeah! Did it. That's badass, dude. Yeah! Today will be different. He's headed out for a pleasure ride. Hey, it's the twins. Why hey, how, how are you? But first, a quick stop at his favorite bike shop, run by the twins, Javier and Juan, and Beethoven. Yes. He's, a, he's a great guy, a great unicycle rider. They've seen people take up unicycling, but no one can top Terry's riding. Have you ever tried unicycling, either of you? We tried. Hey, we tried because uh, since uh, we sell unicycles, we said we have to go out there and mm -hmm. test ride them after we're done with them. But it's, it's not easy. It's, we know that it's the balance is, is something you have to build up. I can really move on this one now. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect day to head out to the rugged trails overlooking Simi Valley, northwest of L.A. Mountain unicycling has been around for about 20 years, but recently it's gained popularity though it's still rather invisible. I like to say we're like mountain lions. We're out there, you just don't see us very often because uh, for, every one, uh, for every one unicyclist, there's probably 10,000 mountain bikers. So even though there's quite a few of us, we're spread out over the, over the, over the state, over the country, over the globe. Okay. You guys don't think you'd ever want to try something like that? Just out of curiosity? Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Terry treats every encounter as a chance to make another convert. Oh Look at God. that! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you all right? Conscious thing about thinking about, yeah, your feet will go right on the ground. There he goes! Yeah. Better! Look at that! Oh, no, you could no, be no, doing no. that in a week, I guarantee you. But fellow bikers aren't the only thing you encounter on the trail. 
Oh, wow. Even risk takers like Terry treat the locals very carefully. There you go, pal. Now that the trail is clear, it's time to get back to riding. I asked Terry what kind of person puts in the thousands of hours it takes to get this good at something so difficult. His answer was surprisingly Ooh. open. It helps to be a type A personality, which I am. I have a lot of excess energy, even at my age, and that could be due to the fact that all my life I've had ADHD, and I don't even think of it as a disorder. I think of it as a benefit, because you can hyper-focus on what you love to do, in my case, riding a unicycle. I don't see myself quitting. I see myself riding well into my 80s. I want to be the oldest extreme unicyclist, as I probably am at this point. And what would Terry be if he weren't an extreme unicycler? Getting fat, <laughs> for sure. I'm Val Zavala for My Generation. Today, Terry is one of the few unicyclists in the world over 50 to have successfully jumped and cleared a full set of eight stairs, a six-foot phone booth, and a seven-foot tractor. We totally give it up to you, Terry.